mate, Mal, Dad's Garage here with Pass, and uh, we got Insane XB. Uh, we've seen this one on Peninsula Motor Fest. It is an absolute animal. Uh, actually, the best part was when you pull it out. I heard you going on the cruise at the end, and oh, didn't that sound good? You gave a little tickle. Um, mate, show us, show us around this thing. She's got some, mate, she's beautiful. And uh, yeah, show us around and tell us what you've done to it. Well, as you can see, we fully customised it, right? Yeah. Um, we've got a 430 stroke uh, dart block in it. Oh, nice. With about 700 horsepower. Yep. Great stack. Um, done by EFI you know, Hardware in Melbourne. Um, we obviously sheeted all the inside. Yep. Added the dimples, give it that aero style look. Yeah, it looks cool. Um, even under the bonnet, we went a bit crazy. Yeah, yeah. Change it. We didn't want to go original, just totally change it up. Yep. Uh, satin black finish. Um, Which is not that easy to do, eh? No, it's very hard. You know, you think it's going to be easy to paint, but it's not. Yeah, we had three attempts on it. Um, you can't correct it. Yeah. So dust, whatever. So it has to be straight off the gun, mint finish. Right, yeah. It, so. But it came out awesome. Looks awesome. Um, yeah, big black gloss billets just to counteract a bit of the satin. Yep. We did a, um, we actually got an AMG uh, interior. How cool is that? We, because it's still got Recaro seats and everything, right? Yeah, yeah. So we thought, let's take out all the electrics yep. and add in what we want to add in and give it that bit more of a muscle uh, rocket aero style look. Yeah, yeah. Um, and we ran the dimples all the way through as well into the door trim. Yeah, you've sort of followed the, the, the pattern, eh, which is great, yeah. Yeah. Uh, carbon fibre roll cage. Oh, actually, I didn't notice that, yeah. It's actually four mil carbon fibre, so solid, uh, not solid tube, but hollow tube. And it has metal sleeves that go through the joiners. Yeah. Um, just to do something different, right? Yeah. Everything was about to create something different. Uh, recess the glass. Yep. So oh, okay, yep. No trim. Um, I've had three hard tops, so I didn't want to go to the old school trim where it looks Yeah, lovely. yeah. So we want to bring it to the 22nd century. Yep. Uh, yeah, underneath's all done as well. The divs, everything. Um, she sounds awesome. So what what pipes are running it? Is it three inch or three and a half? Yeah, so twin three and a half. Do have the electric uh, valve open? Right. To okay. To create a lot of uh, noise. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and yeah. Well, I can see you you've, 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 uh, the dimples are in the the rear wing. Uh, yeah, we they're followed, we followed it. near the back windscreen. Yeah. Uh, even on the bonnet there, you see it's got the, the, the pattern here. So the, everything sort of blends in, doesn't it? You know, you've got a, a, a nice theme, I guess. Yeah, we wanted to run as much air as into the engine bay as possible. Yeah, yeah. So everything flows through, everything's open with the dimples. Um, the front bumper is all one piece. Yep. Oh, okay. So we wanted to uh, give it that big, thick, wide look yep. at the front, like a, a Shelby cover, let's say. Yep. Um, and we followed the same shape as the original bumper on the splitter, if you want to call it. Yeah, all the way yeah. To the back um, spoiler as well. Oh, that's fantastic, mate. So I think the hardtops always needed a bit of a, a spoiler on the rear. Yeah. So no, they did. You're right. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Big. And it's not too big, it, it's subtle, it's, it's good. Subtle, but yeah. I notice, yeah, that front splitter, how it does follow the shape of the bumper. And, uh, yeah, yeah. So it's a small detail, eh, that, that makes uh, yeah. the finish just right, so. But a lot of work, nine years on and off. Oh, wow. Um, you know, the young fella was only two years old, and yeah. he was 13, I think, when I finished. So. Yeah. <laughs> Is this the last one? No, 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 nah. not at all. Uh, what's no. next, do you think, anything? I mean, uh, I've got a 1970 RT in the garage, a Challenger. Oh, wow, so, one of my favorite shapes. Yeah. Well, oh, they are. Uh, it's an RT, but I think I'll customize it. Yeah. Uh, but I'm after another hard top to yeah. have another crack at Oh, nice, mate. See that how is... better we can make it. That is beautiful. Mate, we'll cut in some, um, you know, some of the shots of the engine and everything throughout the video. Yeah, thanks right. for coming on Dad's Garage and thanks for coming along the Criss Cross Art, uh, you know, no the worries. opening of his studio. Is art, and um, thanks for um, bringing in saying XP. No worries. Thanks, buddy. Support. Thanks. No worries.